Hey, what up, Bayshore? It's Friday. It's Friday. And not only is it Friday, it's Giants Day. It's Giants Day. Let's have some fun, y'all. And it's a three-day weekend. Woo, get excited. It's about to be on. All right, let's get it started with announcements. What's up, Bayshore? Let's get ready to read our announcements. These are your announcements for today. Join us at the Bayshore School Saturday, October 16th for our second annual block party from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. for food, performances, and a haunted house. We look forward to seeing you there. The Bayshore School presents All Together Now, a musical review with songs from shows like High School Musical, Annie and Junie B. Jones, Little Shop of Horrors, and more. Fourth grade through eighth grade, see Mr. Dyson for details about how to sign up. Monday, October 11th is indig. How do you say it? Indigenous. 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 Indi. Wait, I lost myself. Yeah, just start that one. That the, one whole, the whole thing. Just that one. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Monday, October 11th is Indigenous Day, People's Day. There will be no school that day. School will resume Tuesday, October 12th. Enjoy your three-day weekend. Please visit our school website at the Bayshore School or download our Bayshore School app where you can get quick access to news, events, lunch menus, staff directories, and more. And now for birthdays. Here are your Bayshore birthdays. Tomorrow, October 9th, we say happy birthday to 7th grader Leslie Clark. And Sunday, October 10th, we say happy birthday to second grader, Anthony B. And finally, Monday, October 11th, we say happy birthday to third grader, Jenny Tran. Happy birthday to you all. We hope you have an incredible day. And for October, we celebrate the heritage of Filipino Americans, German Americans, Italian Americans, and Hispanic Americans. All right, everybody, here's your German American Heritage Month. Let me introduce you to Ralph Henry Bayer, who was born Rudolf Heinrich Bayer. Uh, he was a German American inventor, game developer, and engineer. Bayer's family fled Germany just before World War II, and Bayer served the American war effort, gaining an interest in electronics shortly thereafter. Through several jobs in the electronics industry, he was working as an engineer at Sanders Associates in Nashua, New Hampshire when he conceived the idea of playing games on a television screen around 1966. With support of his employers, he worked through several prototypes until he arrived at a brown box that would later become the blueprint for the first home video game console licensed by Magnavox as the Magnavox Odyssey. Bear continued to design several other consoles and computer game units, including contributing to the design of the Simon Electric game. Bear is considered the father of video games due to his many contributions to games and helping to spark the video game industry in the latter half of the 20th century. Let's move on to Italian American Heritage Month. This is Andrea Amati. Andrea Amati is credited with making the first instruments of the violin family that are in the form we use today. Several of his instruments survive to the present day, and some of them can still be played. It is estimated that Amati made some 38 instruments between 1560 and 1574 for the Queen Regent of France. Now, for Filipino American Heritage Month, check this out, y'all. I bet y'all didn't know this. This is so cool. How many of you know how the yo-yo was made? You know that little toy you put on the string and you, wrote, you, wrote, you know, throw it down and it rolls back up to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yo-yo was made by this man. All right. Everyone around the world probably knows what a yo-yo is. It is a rounded and string toy that many children play around with. But little do many know the origin of this well-known toy. The yo-yo was used by the Philippine natives 400 years ago as a combat weapon against the Spaniards and intruders. The original version of the yo-yo was large and had sharp edges as well as studs. The weapon was attached to sturdy and thick 20 feet long ropes that would be used to fling at the enemies or prey. The modern yo-yo toy that we all know of was made by Filipino law undergraduate 
Pedro Flores. Thanks to America, this toy has been mass produced and popularized all over the world. And lastly, for Hispanic Heritage Month. This is Luis Van Ah. Luis Van Ahn was born and raised in Guatemala and is an entrepreneur and computer science professor at Carnegie Mellon University, who's considered one of the pioneers of crowdsourcing. He is the co-founder and CEO of the language learning website and mobile app Duolingo. He's also the co-creator of CAPTCHA, the challenge response test used in, in computing to determine if the user is a human and creator of ReCAPTCHA, a service that protects websites from spam. And that's your Hispanic, Filipino, German, and Italian American Heritage Month. What's for lunch? It's Friday. Today's lunch is cheese, veggie, or pepperoni pizza. Okay, guys, sure. Let's get ready to have a great day today. Are you ready to engage? Are you ready to educate? Are you ready to empower? Of course you are, because who are we? We are the Bayshore School. Peace, Bayshore. Have a nice, Have a nice, nice weekend. We do it with you again. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>